Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we're going to be doing basic retouching, like really, really bare bones, basic retouching. We're not going to be doing micro dodge and burn. We'll be doing a little bit of global dodge and burn, and we're also going to be using frequent separation because I feel like frequent separation, like I always say, is the easiest form of retouching, right? And for an image like this, where you're just, let's say you're just taking portraits of a friend or portraits of a client and you just want to send them, you know, images as fast as possible. Doing dodge and burn is just going to be um, unnecessary and it's just going to be time wasting for you. So let's just get into basic retouching. So when it comes to basic retouching, what's the first thing you want is you want to run a uh, basic or advanced frequency separation actions. Now I have these actions out for free, but if you want the whole 14 um retouching actions um in my retouching essentials pack then definitely go check it out I'll put a link in the description below and i also put a link for all the other things i have my skin tone lots i'm just going to put a link down there for you know everything so now um what i'm going to do is run my advanced frequency separation right now because this image or uh, because my subject wasn't close to me and i just don't have her head filling the frame and i know i'm going to be retouching her face basically what I'm doing right now is using a small radius. So I'm going to use a radius of like, let me say nine or 10. Um, but if the subject was going to fill the face, sorry, if the subject's face was going to fill the whole frame, then I'll be using a, a radius that's a bit higher than that. So let's just go ahead and use a radius that's like nine. So after that, the first thing I want to do is pick my clone stamp tool and make sure that my opacity is at 100, my flow is at 100, and I'm working on my current layer and my hardness zero, right? So I'm going to go to my high frequency layer copy. And what I'm going to do right now is remove the blemishes. Now, what frequency separation does is it separates your image into two frequencies, right? You have the low layer, which has the colors and the tones and all that. You have your high layer, which just has the texture of your image. So right now we have our textures in our high layer. And what I'm going to do now is use my clone stamp tool to remove the blemishes on her skin and just um, even that out, right? Then we're now going to move to the low layer where we are going to now work on her skin tones and, you know, just smoothing out the skin. Now, the way you work with your clone stamp tool is to hold option or alternate click somewhere close to where you want to replace or the skin texture you want to replace and just paint over it that's just it. it's simple and easy you just sample and paint sample and paint now for an image like this um because nobody's going to be looking at this image like this everybody's probably going to view this image like this at most because i would um yeah everybody's just going to look at this image like this uh <laughs> um so there's no need to do too much or be too meticulous in your retouching look at me throwing big words out there Oof. <laughs> so yeah so i'm just going to go ahead and finish this then i'll come back Okay, so now we are done with removing the blemishes. That's the before and that's the after. We also took out this strand of hair here. Um, remember, like I said, people are going to see this image this way and nobody's zooming in all the way to see the image, except you're yeah, one of those photographers online that's always looking for something to talk about. But if you're not, then yeah, definitely going to be looking at this image this way, right? Now, after doing this, the next thing I'll do is pick my mixer brush tool. Do not forget to use these settings up here because, you know, those are the settings that work perfectly for me, right? And I'll come to my low layer. Now that I'm in my low layer, what I'm going to do is just zoom in a little bit and work between the highlights, the mid-tones, and the shadows on the low layer. And just paint over her skin and just even things out, right? So let's see what we've done on the forehead right now. Like I said, this is a quick and easy tutorial. See the forehead, we fixed that, right? So let's come down here and just work on this place okay so i'm just going to keep working just brush up to reduce the the shadows underneath her eyes right now be careful with the mixer brush tool now it is easy to use but at the same time you're just going to start doing too much if, if you're not careful with it right and also understand the dynamics of people's faces so you just don't change how 
they look now i'm removing the line here because she had a smile line there and i just did not want that right okay great so now we're going to come to this part of the face and you guys can see we're doing this in under two minutes if you want to take your time five minutes tops right now i know we're losing um some of the shadows and 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 the mid-tones here no well, no the mid-tones are still intact but we're losing some of the shadows here we're going to paint all that back with global dodge and burn so look at the skin right now let's see our before and our after our before and our after you guys can see we've sorted a lot of these things out right um just go over it a little bit more And if you guys can see while I'm doing using my um my um mixer brush tool, right? I'm not zoomed in all the way, right? I'm just giving a respectable distance. You know, I want to retouch the pictures the way people will see it. So now I'm just going to work on the neck, just remove the line that's there, just even things out here on the neck. Now the amazing thing about using the advanced frequency separation action is you can always come down. Um, come here and reduce the opacity of your frequency separation if you feel like it's too much but for the sake of this video we're going to keep it um we're going to make sure we are pretty pretty um or the image is pretty retouched <laughs> let me put it that way so now i'm just going to work around the makeup just smoothing those places out and let's zoom out and see so this is our image and she looks good just going to bring some shadows up here so her chin doesn't look like it's fallen, just bring some. Okay, great. Nah, I know we messed that place up, but you know, it's fine for the sake of this video. Um, it's, it's all right. Um, so, you know, like another thing I did was that I just reduced the cheeks a little bit because, you know, I just want her to look a lot like um, more. I don't know. I don't know what word to use, but yeah. Um, like I said, if you feel like you've done too much, all you have to do is just come reduce the opacity of your low frequency layer and it looks good that's the amazing thing it's almost non-destructive right and if for some reason you've messed it up you can just delete it and duplicate the um low layer again hold option and just hover between both and clip it down very simple um so now now that we're done with this what we're going to do is create a dodge and burn make sure i close this create a global dodge and burn layer so you can just use the actions right so we're going to pick a brush, make sure our flow is on, let's see, two or three is fine, two or three will work, and uh, make sure our brush is white, come to your layer mask, and now we're just going to dodge a burn face, so if you understand how the face looks, you know, light hits the forehead and the cheek, so we're just going to brighten all these places up a little bit, you know, brighten this place up, give it a little depth, you know, just put some little depth to this image and chin too, and her nose, just a little bit on her nose. So, so we're just going to work here, the neck, and that's it. You know, you guys can see a lot of those highlights that we've taken out, we've brought them back in a more refined way, right? And now we're going to burn our subject's face. So we're just going to add contour. If you're a makeup artist, you know. We're just highlighting and contouring. That's all we're doing here. Or if you work with makeup artists, then you will know this. Just highlighting and contouring. Okay, great. So now that we've done this, we're not doing too much. Um, probably just add a few more right here. We're not doing too much. Okay, great. Now, this looks good. Like I said, for everything that you're doing, if you feel like you're doing too much, you can always come and just reduce the opacity you know very simple and easy way so the next thing we're going to do is run our eyes and teeth whitening action i have this out for free you can go download it or you can just get the whole pack <laughs> depends on you but yeah so um we're going to open our action after running it make sure that our flow is on 100 and now we are just going to zoom in and take uh, with a brush b for brush on your keyboard that's shortcut so yeah now we're just going to paint and whiten the eyes 
Great. If you want to do the teeth, you can just run this there. Because <laughs> eyes and teeth. Okay, great. So let's see how before and after for that. You can see her eyes standing out. Let me show you guys. Look at me. At, you can see me in there. That's me right there taking the picture in her eyes. Okay, great. So this looks this looks really, really good. This looks great. We can just add a little bit of contrast. Um, not the curves. I like to use the levels adjustment layer to add contrast to my image. Just a little bit. Right. Okay, this this looks good. So I tried something because I did this video before and there was a problem for some reason my cursor wasn't showing. And I tried something and it worked. So color lookup and I used my skin tone lots, but not on her skin. So I picked four and I didn't use it on her skin, right? So what I did was I just painted it off her skin. Pick a black brush and just paint this off her skin. And it just gave the background a nice warm look. Let's see how before and after. See, change the background. Background looks really good. It looks really dope. Okay. So after that, the next thing I'll probably do is just uh, let's run another action one from my. So let's run rich tones. Our uh, rich tones looks really good, but that's too much. So we're going to reduce our opacity to somewhere like this and um the next thing we're going to do is probably just add a vignette to this image because the vignette would do us wall look good and you just make sure that you're concentrating on her face right so just pick a bro uh, a gradient the gradient tool yes the gradient tool make sure you're you're picking the radial gradient um black and just drag this down from her face maybe change my blend mode to overlay soft light will work reduce the opacity and now create a layer mask pick a black brush and just paint it out of her face okay great so this is about it this is really basic skin retouching for outdoor images so let's see our before and our after before and after so i'm going to zoom into her face so you guys can see before and after very basic skin retouching this would do you a world of good if you retouch your outdoor images like this and you are not you know stressing too much about dodge and burn you're not like me you're not fussing too much about dodge and burn all the time because like i said it just wastes a lot of time and just retouching like this is good so another thing i'll do is probably just liquefy this image so option command shift shift and e that's um control Alternate shift and E on PC. And um, I'm just going to go to filter, liquefy, just pick the liquefy tool. And yeah, that's too much. Okay, great. Um, let's see the nose. Probably just reduce the width of the nose just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And this part of her body right here just looks weird. So I'm just going to pull this in a little bit. Okay, great. So that looks that looks good. Um, so let's see our before and our after. Looks really good. Yeah, I know the liquify is a little bit too much. Um, just uh, just a little bit too much to be honest. Um, one thing I'll do again with the liquify is just take this in a little bit. So let's see that. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, maybe the liquify is just a tad bit too much, but nah, who cares? The image looks good. So yeah, that's about it. Let's see how before again and how after. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you love today's video, give this video a thumbs up. Go hawk smash on that like button and also comment below. Let me know what you like to see next. If you want to see a more advanced outdoor retouching video, let me know. And also, if you have used any of my products maybe my skin tone lots or you've used my retouching essentials pack or you use it regularly 
always tag me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's at Prince Mason. Tag me on Instagram. I like to see your stuff. I'm always reposting to my stories. Um, anybody that is like supporting the channel, really appreciate it. So yeah, definitely comment below. Let me know if you're using it and if you love it. Let me know what videos you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace.